Hi, it's David. Uh, I'm a teacher at uh, Still Life Ceramic Studios, and um, today I'm going to do something not directed directly to my class. This is just a general um, little video of something that I got inspired by um, the other day. Um, I was go through YouTube and of course there's great inspiration because there's amazing potters on there and I was watching uh, a potter named uh, Shoujo Mishikawa and he was doing these large he does these very large very organic vessels with uh, very extreme textures on the outside and I was intrigued by his process um, and so I thought to myself because one of my favorite forms to make and to work on is the the chawan, which is the the ceremonial uh, tea bowl for the for the tea ceremony, and I thought I would just try and put his his technique, which is done very large, and and see if I could translate that into a small, much smaller vessel. So um, why don't you uh, take a look, and we'll give it a shot together. Okay, so I've already centered, and so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make my opening. Now, when when I'm working on a chawan, um, because of the classic form of a chawan, has a very, you know, a very substantial foot, right? I'm gonna leave more clay at the base than I normally would. So instead of like leaving a quarter to a half an inch. I'm going to leave more like a half to three quarters of an inch. If I feel it's too thick when I'm getting the, going through the trimming process, I can always shave it down, but, if, but I can never make it bigger. So it's better to err on the, on the larger side. So it's, it, yeah, it wastes a bit of clay, but you know, it's, it's just clay and we can recycle it. Especially because uh, Still Life has an amazing pug bill, which we're going to set up someday soon. Okay, anyway, so. I'm going to set my bottom just like I normally would. When, I, when I'm working on a chawan, I want to make my base kind of this, the width that I'm going to want the chawan to be, right? And chawan's intent can, can very often feel very organic and very natural and very sort of almost nature based and that's one of the things that I really like about them um, there's a casualness to them very often sometimes not sometimes they're a little more formal all right so so the first thing that I, I saw him do is he actually just made a couple of pulls which I'm gonna do and he pulled Play up a little bit beyond where the height of where he wanted his. It seemed that his final piece ended up. All right? Okay, and then, and this is what I thought was kind of interesting. Then he went back and just on the, just from, from the actual from the very bottom. He just care. began to he just began to collar the whole thing in. The entire form. He just collared it in tighter and tighter and tighter, which of course made it taller and taller and taller, but it also made it thicker and thicker and thicker. So so he ended up with something like this, right? Only his was bigger. But it's it's very thick. You can see now it's like super thick here. So, so now, and then, so then the next step, so what he then, he just started going to town on it, but because this is going to be a chawan, and you're actually, people, you know, they're going to drink tea out of it, you kind of want to protect the lip a little bit. You don't want that really rough edge on the lip. So I'm just going to mark the lip. Gonna make a little mark there. And that's gonna tell me that that's I'm gonna whatever whatever scoring and scraping I do down here, 
I'm going to I'm going to stop it there. Okay. So I've got a couple of tools I'm going to use. I've got a I've got this sort of wire cutter. You can see it's got if you can see it it's got these sort of it's a twisted wire cutter. It's got two different two different edges to it. Um, and I'm just going to play with this a little bit. I'm just going to like come up here and just gouge out some clay. Right? And then maybe I'll do one like this across here. And then maybe like that. I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to like just sort of score it randomly. I don't want to do a, I don't want to do any kind of organized pattern, I don't think, because I just want to keep this sort of really organic and and fluid. Um, it's what it's going to create all these sort of thick and thin spots, which could be problematic. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens here. Right. And I'm just going to keep going around making these scores with the different I'm just and we're doing this together I, I, I've done I did one about an hour a few minutes ago just to make sure it's actually possible it came out okay um, I was a I was much more circumspect than I'm being now. I'm really kind of just pushing it much further in terms of the gouging I'm doing now than I did in my experimentation, my first one. But I just want to, you know, I just want to work this out a little bit and see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly concerned about, obviously, I mean, you know my philosophy on this. I don't. I'm not particularly concerned about finishing this piece. What I'm really curious about is the process here because I was so intrigued by it and it came out so amazing. All right, so now you can see I've got this, I just kind of got this all gouged up and scored up. Um, one thing I want to do now before I, I, I start the next step is I want to take out some of this excess clay at the bottom. And I'm going to do this now because it's just going to be easier for me. I found this out when I was playing around with this earlier. So I'm just going to take that off real quick. All right. Okay, so now you kind of need a tool for this because this is so tall. Um, if this was shorter, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need a tool. I, don't want, I think this is a good speed, too. I, don't, I really don't want this going very fast. And now I'm all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and, and I'm just going to start pressing out, right? Just pushing out, just slowly. I don't want to. I don't want to do this too fast. Obviously, I want to ease ease the clay out. And I'm just going to start. I start at the bottom. Start pushing. And then trying to I'm trying to keep the whole and I sort of get the whole tool involved. And just kind of pushing and pushing and pushing. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this just so we can take a look and see what's happening. So you can see now all those all those score marks and gouges that I put in there, they're really starting to expand and and, and almost explode. And I haven't even I, I haven't even gotten started yet in terms of expanding the clay, so I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. So here we go. We're just gonna push out. Stop it again. Let's take a look and see where we're at. And it's really starting to get get extreme. I'm really liking the way that's looking. 
I don't know, it's kind of, it's really getting very sort of tree barkish, I guess, almost. I've got a ton of clay inside here, so I really, I can really, I really feel like I can, I can get this thing pretty wide. And you see this sort of undulating lip that I'm getting here a little bit in a in a chawan vessel, or like even if this I was it, like if you were going to say make this into uh, uh, a vase of some sort for like um, you know Japanese flower arrangement. Just going to keep going here, because, because, because <laughs> why not, right? We're just we're just working out processes and trying to see where it's going to take us. On the inside, you know, I, I feel like I haven't really expanded much. On the outside, let's see. Now you can see we're getting like some real thin spots, you know, where I, where I gouged away a ton of material, right? But, but this texture is just really getting really extreme. Um, I should probably, if, if I was going to say, oh, I'm going to keep this piece, <laughs> I should probably stop now, but, but that's just not my personality so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push this thing more. You know, maybe leave the lip where it is because that's where I'm getting that real thin sp stuff. One thing I don't want to do when you're doing something like this is to is to break through, right? That that would be Okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah, I'm really, I, I, I really, I like this technique. I think, uh, I think it's, it really sort of is very expressive, and is something that I think we could play around with a lot and really get some, you know, maybe some instead of just using the the wire tool, maybe some scores or some you know, some actual slashes and get those to open up. Now I'm just going to, because I have that line, I'm just going to very... And, you know, I've got that little tear there, so you know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this off and then I'm going to just put another little lip on there. I'm kind of potchking with this, which, you know, is not my... I generally would not want to do that. Um, but if, say, this was something you were you're working on and you're like, oh, I really like this, I want to keep it, you can kind of, that's just a, a way to kind of, we're just going to try and save that a little bit. All right, I think that's, I'm actually really liking that. Um, I think that if you can see, yeah, I hope you can see that texture. It's really extreme and really, it's just, I mean, it's just those ridges are just so organic and fun. Um, I've got some very sharp ridges on the inside that I want to take care of. Um, like if it, be, just, just because if I was actually going to use this as a, as a chawan, um, I don't want, I wouldn't want those, those sharp ridges, so I'm just going to, I don't mind the ridges, I like them, I, I like seeing that they're there, I just don't want them sharp, so I'm just going to just take my sponge and wrap my chamois in my sponge and just let it spin around there a little bit. pretty good nice and cleaned out in there so that's smoothed out I still have those that spiraling from from the pushing out um, okay um, I thought that that was great I, 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 
I really enjoyed doing that. I think um, something that might be something you guys might might want to play around with um, later on in your practice. All right. Uh, again, I'm David from Still Life Ceramic Studios, and uh, love the process, not the piece. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others.